Hey guys, it's Ryan Abel here, and today I have a quick video about syringe filters and how sometimes they can be a pain in the ass and a little bit of lab tech that uh, I've made very easily to help fix that problem. So if you've ever spent time filtering really cruddy solutions with a lot of precipitate or um, solids in it, and you've been using these little syringe filters, um, you've probably had your fingers messed up and maybe even had to switch filters or tools because it was too hard and the filter got clogged. And I was running into that a lot. So I spent just a couple seconds making these two blocks. And the way they work is, I get them on my syringe, and once I take the filter off, and I put it on, and now it's kind of locked on there. And then pull in, and I use these two as like a sandwich, or as handles, so I get a ton better leverage, and I can use my entire strength of my hands, rather than just my fingers and it saves my hands a lot. And uh, I'll show you it in action. Just put it on. And then the second piece, I will use the top. Here, I'll put my filter on now. And now for my collection bottle. it in like this, and I get a job that would have been quite difficult, makes it a lot easier because I can use the full strength of both my hands rather than that. And all they are are just two pieces of wood with holes drilled in the middle. In the top, that doesn't need to be a hole, it's just a little cup that holds the top of the plunger, and a little bit of um, paper towel and electrical tape padding on the sides helps make it a ton more comfortable. If you had to use these syringe filters all day, just as they were, you probably wouldn't be able to do it before your hands gave out. But I have used this all day, and it's uh, actually not so bad. So even though it was a really cruddy sample, and it had a lot of precipitate, and we bent the top of the plunger, that's how, that's how efficient these are. You'd never really be able to do that with bare hands. And that's why I love these things, and I want to show them to you. So thanks, and I hope you get a little bit of use out of this.